Yes, welcome back. And today we are to discuss about Azure DevOps uh, pipeline variables. What all the pipelines variables are presented? Like predefined uh, variables, like existing. Uh, how we can able to use existing one, and how we can able to get and see that. Okay, that we can able to see. And first, you can able to search here in the Google. That is a pipeline. Uh, Azure DevOps one, okay. Once you hit, you can able to see there are a list of things we can able to see, okay. And defined variables are you can able to use, use predefined variables. Anything is okay, okay. Predefined or defined for the places it will maximum it will come for similar location, okay. Use uh, use variable in a locations and predefined variables and the predefined variable and these predefined variables both are the same and you can find it the list here that variables okay and here you can see build.clean who are using for Marvin they can able to use for build.clean and also system that access token in case if you are using for any access token for related that you can able to see debug if you can uh, if you want to get for agent variables you can see and also some more things like uh, pipeline variables and deployment variables and system variables check variables so many things are there okay and if you go for access token if you see is a special variable that carries the security token and used by the running build okay if you use for that particular access token like similar format, I use a defined variables we create in the last video session, right? The similar format you can able to create and you can able to access for this particular access token for all the places, wherever you want that location you can able to use. For the building, if you use for system.build, the new variable system.debug is it true, then it will take as a true and it will hit for the build as a true. Okay, and you can create for the similar format variables and uh, system debug colon true. Okay, and if you want uh, agent agent related stuff, okay, that is like uh, uh, agent dot build directory, and it, this is basically what directory we are hitting for that particular one, and agent dot container mapping what container we are mapping like a Docker ID. It will provide and also if you agent dot home directory where exactly this directory is presented agent id and machine name and agent name os which os it is uh, running and uh, like windows or linux or driving uh, those things also it will provide and uh, a tools directory working directory and all it will provide and if you want for field related like uh, artifact staging directory which artifact directory it is working and also you can uh, get for build id and build number and uh, build url and directory and container id like this we have so many things presented here okay we can able to get for each one of them okay you can try in your local also it will uh, give you for completely okay i will give you for some couple of things not completely just i'll go for some couple of things okay and here before that we can uh, comment this all the things okay control and where is my hash oh, sorry. Function keys not working. Basically, control and uh, hash it will work. Control plus uh, hash, but unfortunately, it is not working. Okay, I'll copy one by one and take this one. Okay, so this one is working. Okay, so it will take a little bit time. Sorry, don't worry. Okay, it's our quick. 
because we are going to delete this one, right? Like if you delete uh, the particular, if somebody is required like last week of time, somebody is looking for that particular dependencies, if I delete, right, they will uh, lose and again they will ask, right? To do all the things, I am going to commenting for those couple of things, okay? Now here, first one is uh, pipeline, we can able to get it, okay? And the second case here, I'm going to take for copy. And here what we can able to take and build a number. Okay, build a number, we have one variable, right? Build dot build number. See, uh, the naming convention should be matched with here, okay? see now here also we can see there is a build number one it is gone right this is the one okay and we need to provide exact then only it will we can able to access otherwise we can't build number you are able to and this all the things first job and all not required and here also and we can able to get for another one is build id this is a build id okay and also if we can able to get for source branch where the source branch is presented the source branch also it is presented in the Okay, build dot source branch. This is the one. Okay, and that also we can able to get where exactly. So, source branch. Okay, and even directory if you want, you can try, uh, try and the default working directory where it is presented. That also we can try. Okay. Now I'm going to click for here. Uh, default directory is basically system location. Uh, system dot default default. working directory okay this is my default working directory and uh, if you want uh, artifact stagings with if in case if you have any artifact stagings for that particular one and we can able to see the first directory that also we can make it the Now I'm mentioning here. Okay, I'm copying this artifacts. In case if we have any artifacts, that also we can able to check. Okay, now I'm able to provide all the things. Okay, now we can check. Before checking also, one thing you can see, this is a default directory, right? What all the things are presented to identification, echo is not enough. We can able to say ls i space hyphen r. I, uh, ls is basically list of artifacts related default working directories are presented those things it will check and we are validating validation is perfect and now i am saving i am running now now only one job it is going to hit one second The job is in now queue mode. Waiting for agent to be picked. And now initiated. 
now you can see uh job got initiated and checking for here configuration and everything okay now bashing here you can see bashing is basically that particular which we created for user environment or one variable and another bash it is basically the build versions we check right that is a one build number and here build id it is a 24 okay and you can see here where it is refers header master and also we can see here some of the things like list of our home directory which is presented for this is my working directory related and it is provided for all the list of things pipeline backup and configuration azure pipeline sample and these are the files it is running this is a kubernetes related this is azure related okay and even you can see this is all our home directories okay these are the commands we use in our committing location okay these are the things like we can able to get it for all the things by using for this pipeline variables okay and next video session we can able to see some magic okay i hope it this information helped for you thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you